Hello, everybody. I'm running a few minutes late. I had two yellow jackets in my studio and wanted to take care of them before I got started here. I didn't want them diving at me during my Facebook Live, <laughs> if you know what I mean. So I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today's card features, it's a baby card, it's a baby gift card in fact, features the All for Baby stamp set. I don't know, I was kind of tired of fall and Christmas, so thought it'd be fun to do something different, but this is a wonderful stamp set. It has 15 stamps in it, and it has oh, little PJs, a teddy bear, um, there's a little girl's outfit here. Stamps in it. Now let me mute myself. And we've got clothespins, a heart. I, these might be pockets. I'm not sure on those. A little bib, a bow, a rainbow, and some really cute sentiments. And a little line here for a clothesline. Um, at least that's what I'm using it for. So, And then the dies are beautiful too. Um, these are the dies. These are the baby clothes dies. And you can see there's a good variety here. There's a bib here. And we have the little rainbow, the star, the heart, clothes pins. And we've got another bib up here. And some PJs and a little outfit. So, hey, Teresa. So lots of little goodies in this set. So this is a card we're gonna make today. And I forget the name of this card, what it's called. I'll have to look before we get off here. But this says, hello, little one. And it opens just like this. It says, little hands, little feet, big love. And here's a little gift card holder. And then it opens to the inside too. It says, congratulations on your growing family. You could, I suppose, even decorate this if you wanted to. So let's get started. And we'll do a little boy card right now. So we're going to start with a piece of cardstock. And I'm using Bami Blue. And this is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. I gotta grab my phone holder. If you share and comment, I will put you in a drawing for a little goodie. So we're gonna score this down and then we're gonna take three inches off the front flap here. So I'm bringing in my paper trimmer. I'm going to open this out, and our trimmer has um, a scoring blade, which is light gray, and a cutting blade, which is dark, and I'm putting it at the three inch mark here, and I'm going to bring my cutting blade up, which is this dark one, and just cut that off like that, and I can use that for something else, and so this is our card front right here. Um, Teresa, I'll post some um, after the video. I'll upload them up to the comments here for you. So I'll go through and tell you all the card measurements. This is four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half, and then you cut the three inches off there. For the inside card, you need a piece that's eight and a half by three. And this is scored, will be is scored at four and a quarter. Like this. And I'm gonna burnish that. And then we have a piece of basic white that's four by two and a quarter. This is gonna go here on the front. We and then we have the DSP that's gonna go on that is two and three quarters by two. 
and let's put them on right now in fact so I'm gonna layer this on the, my card front here and I'm using snail adhesive And this is going to layer right here like this. And this is four by two and a quarter. All right. And then the DST for that is two and three quarters. Um, I don't think that's right. Two and three quarters by two. I think it's, I better measure it. Measure it. Okay, this is two by three and three quarters. Okay, so two by three and three quarters. And I'm going to put snail on the back of this. I'll also have this on my blog later, Teresa. My granddaughter has a soccer game, so I have to go to that first. And then tonight when I get home, I'll do that. Okay, so we've got that front flap on there like that. Now let's bring in our little mini card. And the mini card is going to sit like this in here, but we're not going to put it in here yet. So for the front of this, we want a piece of basic white on here. And... The basic white is going to be four by two and three quarters, and I forgot to cut that, so I'm going to cut that right now. So I'm bringing this back in. I'm going to put this on four. And the other side is going to be two and three quarters. Just like that. Oh, you do? Yeah, and I, it's two granddaughters, too. Yeah, it's like a playoff game. Okay, so this is going to go on here. It's starting to get dark out earlier, so they actually scheduled the game for five, which is kind of nice. Okay, so that goes there like that. And then the DSP that goes over it is three and three quarters by two and a half. But I'm gonna um, stamp a little clothesline on this first because we're gonna hang our baby clothes on it. So I've got a piece of scrap paper here. And I've got this great big, um, I think this is for a clothesline, and I'm going to ink that up with soft suede. Just like that. And I'm going to wipe that ink off there because I don't want it to get on my DSP. And there's still a little on there. All right, so I'm going to get this as far at the top as I can and try to go out the corners or close to it. All right, so there's the clothesline to hang the clothes. So I have already die cut. Um, these are what I'm going to hang on the clothesline. Do I want white with blue in the middle? I think I want white with the blue in the middle instead of blue with white in the middle. All right, and what I've used this little die here and laid it face down on the cardstock and run it through the little die cutting machine, our mini die cutting machine. Okay, and let me... Um, 
Well, I guess I don't need to do that. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these onto this piece of DSP. Let's line them up how they should be here. We'll get the white ones over as far as we can. And the blue one in the middle. They might overlap a little bit. So, yeah, my granddaughters that are playing, um, one is in 10th grade and the other one, they're bringing her up from JV and she is in eighth grade. All right, so maybe it would just out just a tad. So it'll be fun to watch and it's pretty warm out. Oh, come on, Mr. Go. Gotta get a pin. I keep it upside down, but it frustrates me because it gets plugged up. All right. And this one's gonna go over here. We'll let his arm hang off, his sleeve hang off just a little bit. Oh, I know, they're so much fun to watch. I think that's enough to hold that. I'm gonna put that there like that. And I need to poke these where the snaps are, those little circles out. Okay, so now I've die cut the little clothes pins. They are right here. And I'm just gonna put a dab of the glue, liquid glue on each one. Hopefully I can get a dab out. And these are gonna go at the top of the sleeves here. And they might hang up a little bit, that's okay. Cause this is gonna be layered on an, a layer of the white. And this one will go here. I think these clothespins are so cute. <laughs> and this is crumb cake paper. Do you get to drive your granddaughters on the bus ever? My husband said that um, his grandfather used to be a bus driver. Of course, this was a long time ago. And he used to pick him up, take him to school on the bus. Okay, and here's the last one. That's cute. All right, so our piece of cardstock, our mini card. Oops. This is going to layer on here just like this. I'm going to put a little bit of glue here. And center that. All right, and so for the inside, our gift card holder is gonna be on this side. And I have a piece of, this is the Subtles Designer Series paper. This is three by two and seven eighths. So, and I'm gonna punch a little notch in the top here. I think this is a one and three eighths inch punch. Oh, that's cool. They get to ride with you. 
It's awesome. I bet they love it. All right, so we need just a little bit of glue. And don't forget not to put glue at the top. I've done that before. And then you can't get anything in there. Okay, so there's that. And this is going to sit, let's see here. It's going to glue on to the back of our main base, which is this one. I mean, this flap, the back of this flap like this. So I'm just going to put glue on the very end here of this. About that much. And then I want this centered. So I'm going to put it about where I want it. I want to pull this out a little bit. Like that. And I've got glue here. I'm going to wipe that off. What I'll do is take my embossing buddy when this dries and just tap it on it. It'll leave powder on there too, so it won't um, <clears throat> be sticky. Okay, so I'm gonna put right here. I've die cut one of the little bibs. I think this is this is really cute. And again, I'm gonna take that one and three eighths inch punch. Whoops, I don't want to punch that because it's my good paper. And I'm gonna punch out a circle. And if you don't have a punch, you can use the layering circle dies. I'm going to glue this down right here. And then our little bib is going to go on that. Maybe like that. And then we need our sentiment. So on, um, on the front here, I'm going to put um, hello little one. And I've got a very thin piece of cardstock that I dropped on the floor. This is like a half an inch in width by probably two and a half inches. And I'm going to, um, so I want Hello Little One, and I'm going to stamp it in crumb cake. Hello Little One. Right like that. And I need to cut that end. to grab my scissors so I want it slanted like this about like that and I'm going to pop that up in the middle with dimensionals I'm going to grab my small dimensionals seeing my small white ones so I'm using the black ones it won't matter because no one will see them Okay, so I'm going to put this right across the middle on the front here. Oh, probably about like that. 
Now I want to stamp um, inside here. Let's see, this one is Little Hands, Little Feet, Big Love, and I'm going to stamp this in Crumb Cake. Well, I'm glad you didn't catch me. <laughs> little Hands, Little Feet, Big Love. And then I'll, we're going to do the inside. And the inside piece with this, you want to make sure, because it's going to show um, at the top and the bottom, you want to make sure you stamp your sentiment beneath, in the middle there. <clears throat> so this one says, congratulations on your growing family. And again, this is crumb cake. Let me stamp that right in the middle. Looks slightly crooked, so I'm gonna turn it over and do that again. I actually, my niece had a baby today. Well, it might've been yesterday, so I wanted to make a baby card too. She lives in Florida, so I don't get to see her very often. And I wanted to send her a gift card. And then I'm gonna put some little blue hearts. So I've got my blue heart here. Well, thank you, Teresa. Um, we're going to stamp some little hearts. There. So our card is done. So it says, hello, little one. You can put your gift card here. Little hands, little feet, big love and then you open it in the inside, you can sign it. So anyways, I hope you enjoy the soccer game, Teresa. And I will see you Monday night, probably. Okay, have a great evening. I'm gonna sign off.